going scrapping to Carroll Stream. This guy's got what's called a hoarder's house, so we're hoping to get a refrigerator, maybe some motorcycle motors, some some computers. He says he's got tires, aluminum tires are still on the rim. I don't know if I'm going to take those or not, but we'll find out when we get here. It's about 10 or 12 miles away from my house. And here we go, scrapping. Thank you. near Warrenville, heading up towards Route 64. Sunday, boy, there's a lot of cars out today. I'm probably the only guy going out scrapping. All right, seven days a week if you can. That's where the money's at. If you're not doing anything on the weekends, go out and scrap something. Some scrap yards are open on Sunday. This is A1. They're in Aurora too. They don't they don't give as much money, but they're open from nine to five today. And uh, that's just a smart business guy that's actually trying to make some money. that hardly anybody has the old Vienna hot dog stand. Everybody loves them. I mean, drool, baby. We're in Chicago. Here we're getting close to the city now. All right. Oh yeah, they're on the radio. They have a famous pastor. There's a lot more steel and stuff inside. Yeah, I'm gonna keep on moving here.
because the truck's so low. How low can you go? Look at how low my bumper is. Look at this. Well, we got some weight on here today. We got a few things going down to the scrapper this morning. I have them in separate bins. I have some Christmas lights in four of the bins. I have one bin that just got copper wire in it. I have the small amount of batteries here. This area here is pretty much aluminum breakage. This item here is pure aluminum. And then right up by the cab here, I have some steel. Not very much left over, but that all needs to go to the scrapper. And these guys, they always individually itemize everything. So let's see if we can make some money this morning. I can see the scrapper. There he is, right there, Broadway. We're trying one that's a little different because we think sometimes some people pay more for different items. And I also know that this guy, which we don't have any today, takes the motherboards, the circuit, circuit boards separately, where a lot of other guys don't. hundred and twenty dollars of money. Look at all this money here. I want to talk to you a little bit about what kind of happened. Yesterday, we took the Christmas lights down and, and the, this guy here wanted to give me 11 cents a pound for it because it's Sunday and he's the only guy open. We went down to another guy today and we actually got 28 cents a pound. That's more than double you got to really watch your yards. Now, for the steel yesterday, we, we just got so little. The prices are down. We got $29.52 for the whole load. You saw that load yesterday. And, and the other guy today offers a half a penny more a pound. So if we would have hung on to it today, we would have made a little more money. The prices are down. And you've got to do this comparative shopping. So, like I say, my totals here are pretty good for that load. And then bear in account that in the garage we still hung on to all of the electronics. So I'm planning to break that down and get the motherboards out of them, like I said. And uh, get a little extra kick of money. Okay, thanks a lot. Keep on watching our channel. We're doing a little bit of a clean out here so the homeowner said we can have anything that's steel. We're tearing up our bookshelves, speakers, you name it. Take a look at the garbage I got in the truck already. A old refrigerator, some fans. I'm planning to make a monster load out of this again. We got some computers here. And, and here is what, too bad we can't get it. There's copper in those TVs. But, you know, we're going to load this baby up. See these speakers here? I, I just want the metal out of them, so I'm planning to get the metal out of them. You know, just a little extra bonus there. And uh, same with this speaker here. Here's the speaker. And here's the speaker. Take a look at what we got an empty house here. And uh, we're, uh, we've emptied everything out of here. He might give us these desks for scrap metal here. And uh, we might break up the glass. And uh, we pretty well emptied everything out of here. There were some computers and TVs up here. 
You already saw those on the truck. And then uh, that's a pretty good size house. Maybe 3,000 square feet. This guy's, this has got nothing to do with me. He's planning to repaint everything here. Master bedroom. This is an old Pulte home, if you know anything about the Chicago land area. And in the basement here, we gotta keep working on whatever we can find. You know, simple thing like that extension cord, that's copper. And uh, like I said, whatever we can find down here. And a uh, whole bunch of junk. Maybe that's a metal table. There's a foosball table here. A uh, old lawn chair. And a bench, metal bench. And, uh, all right, let's get to work. Okay, I'm ready to go down to the scrapper. I spent part of the morning sorting things out. I have steel on the load here. I also have two containers of copper wire. One very small container of Christmas lights still left. And one small container of aluminum. And I'm heading out. Okay, scrap steel shelving. Take a look at what's inside the garage that we still haven't hauled. Look at all this electronics here. Look at this. Hoping to break all that down and get things out of it, separate them. And uh, here, here's a little more scrap in this area. Over there, there's some computers. Way back there, there's a, I think it's an amp, speakers, and more and more things from this load. Okay, I'm happy here. Thanks a lot. We're scrappers. I built this building about 40 years ago for my brother, Chris Zanis. You can see his name is up on the building. But uh, the caretaker said we can come by and get some pipes that were underneath the building. They were underneath here. And you can see the mark of the one, the biggest piece there. Years ago, I used a piece of pipe off of, off of this very piece here to make a bumper for my 1979 Ford pickup truck. So here, you know, 30 some years later, I'm gonna run this down to the scrapper and see what I can get for it. Okay. Today I've made with my partner, $93.42 off of some small loads. The first one was $25, and then the next load was just the copper, pretty much. That's $45, and those are the, a little bit of Christmas lights. And the last one, I just had some, some scrap pipes that were kind of iron and sealed, 23 bucks for a total of... $93.42 and I'm still going for a load tonight. Keep up with us. All right, watch our channel more. When I get the stuff to my shop, I break up the load mostly right on the tailgate of the truck. What I do is I start throwing out the steel because it's gonna go in for the first load. Take a look here, some scrap metal. Now, the smaller steel I'm keeping in a bin, anything that's brass or stainless steel, I try to put in a bin. These are stainless steel here. And then the motherboards or circuit boards, they all bring a good price. Take a look here, I got copper wire. Yesterday when I scrapped, I made about as much money on two bins of copper wire as I did on a whole load of steel. So yeah, pe people, it's so worth it to break this stuff up. Take a look at the truck here. Like, 
like like the speaker here. If if you see, I'm just throwing them in a pile there because that's separating it. You don't know what you're gonna find. So good, good. All this copper here it goes in my copper. I know there's Christmas lights, and I just start cutting all that off. And like I say, I'm putting it right here in the copper. Now at the backs of the TV sets, we we bust these off. I add those to my copper pile, and the, the guy at the yard, he's pretty good about separating all that. Look, look at here, I got a battery. I'm gonna get some good bucks for that baby. And all this looks like garbage, but today I'm gonna clean this garage up. Take a look here, watch out so it doesn't bust, but look, look at that, how easy that is to get a hunk of copper up there. It, this was a this thing was a big screen TV set. There's another hunk of copper. Look at that baby. I mean, I'm saying that that whole big screen TV had three of these in here. Here's here's a, a bucket of basic aluminum. These are recycle containers. So if there's any plastic, I just um, get rid of it. These will be like transformers and what's left of my electrical. Take a look at the whole area here. I got nothing but but money. <laughs> look at all these computers I got from this last clean out. Radios, speakers, stereo sets, a fan that works, and and more stuff here. Look at all this electronics here. If you see what I'm doing, like I said, I'm breaking up and getting those motherboards out of there, getting the copper out of there, getting the aluminum out of there. And very little of that is garbage. It's all cash money. So that, that's what's going on in my shop, guys. Thanks a lot for watching. And I just keep at it. it I, can't, I can't tell you how fun this is. This is all steel, so it's going to go back in. I never have any stress because I'm, I'm always able to take and smash something. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. <laughs> okay, I got another load loaded up here. Mostly steel. But in the back here, I got a couple of containers. One with a little bit of brass and copper or stainless steel. One with stainless steel only. On the bottom of that, I have aluminum scrap. Here I got some transformers, all the motherboards, and on the bottom here, I got copper wire right there. And lastly, I got a battery right here, which I get a separate price for that. And like I say, I'm off to the scrappers here. I might as well keep something. My idea is to keep my garage empty, get all the junk out of there as fast as I can. Make money right now. <laughs> $50 bill, $57.40. If you remember that load was all broken down, I'd like to show you here kind of what it was. There was a battery. I got $7.20 for that, a very little bit of aluminum, if you remember, $2 for that, and, and the aluminum cans makes $3. And then down further, the yellow brass, it was a tiny small bit of that, $9. And then the wire, that the bin of wire is $11.05. So that's why we that's why we break a lot of these things up so we can get the most amount of money out of that because otherwise you're only getting steel weight which is nothing okay thank you very much for watching